right now. Hey, okay. everybody. Welcome to the All Seas Collector's Edition podcast. What is up? Whoa. What is up, everyone? My name is James. This is Ken. I'm and usually guest, behind the camera. He's with me next to me this week with our guest, Marty Mart. Uh, thank you for being with us, brother. Appreciate oh, no you. Ken, give us a little background on Marty. What's he been in? Let so everybody know. Most famous role, obviously, Pirates of the Caribbean as one of the pirates. Uh, one of my favorite roles, personally, is on Scrubs. He's, he's the, one of the janitors. Later on, oh. uh, and uh, I think, you know, I love Charm. So he was also in Charm, did, did a uh, spot or two, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. I've, done, I've got an episode of uh, I Carly coming on today at five. Is he really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think one of the funniest ones I've ever seen was Project X when you're going around punching everybody in the nuts for being yeah. uh, put into the oven. That was kind of ad lib too. That was, uh, hey, do, do what you guys got to do. Find a way to get them in the oven without looking like they're picking on me. So I had to, <laughs> I had to pick the fight with them so that they were kind of warranted in like at least retaliating. The, the scary part was driving the, the Mercedes into the pool. Right. Yeah, that Did was you do that? Yeah, yeah. He, really? He is a yeah, stunt yeah. professional, also by profession. Awesome, dude. Yep. That's awesome. Awesome, brother. Well, I can't wait. We'll get into all that and a lot more, brother, with everything we have going on in collectibles, too. Marty's a huge collector. We were just going over his collection right before we went live here. And uh, he's got a lot of nice stuff. Huge Raiders fan. Hurts me a little bit as we're in Denver, Colorado. Me and Ken Broncos fans. That's Broncos. all good. And we'll get into that with sports, too, and our football season coming up. But uh, real quick, everybody, we hope everyone's well being at home. Um, are you in quarantine where you're at, Marty, too? Uh, guys... We're stir crazy. We're past quarantine. We're stir crazy. Right. Yeah, exactly, brother. Exactly right. We have that the same thing going on here in Denver. So I uh, hope everyone's doing well with their family and everybody's safe and strong. Yeah, so uh, Marty, like, like Anthony, uh, and we met him in uh, Estes Park Comic Con. And, uh, you know, we got pictures of him, you know, doing the fist to his face. He's like, oh, man, should I be punching a kid in a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. And, you know, he came up to came up to us and very down to earth guy. You're all you're one of my favorite actors. So when because we were there as pressed for uh, for Estes Park. Right. Park. You and Anthony. Yes. Uh, so yeah, what happened with that, by the way? Uh, they uh, claimed bankruptcy two days after. Yeah. How so they got paid years? regardless, right? Huh? They got paid regardless because they, they had uh, insurance, right? Well, yeah, they get paid up front, so, right? Uh, not, not only that, the, part of the thing was that was their event center that their other right. company owned and operated out of. We just had a question come through. There's the SSR Comic Con. Right, David. I, 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 the <laughs> store owner in Colorado, <laughs> they never even talk to stores in Colorado to try to get us to set up or advertise through stores or any kind of outreach. Not sure who even was behind that thing. Elvira was That was Elvira was there. So they've only done the once. So they had two. I mean, they had great guests, Marty, you and Elvira. So I mean, they had some kind of money spent, I guess. But maybe that's yeah, what they had yeah. Burn from uh, yeah. what do you call it? Yeah, uh, two. Yeah. They had two back there. They what had, was it at Nessus Park? There was a convention center out there. Uh, not at the Stanley, right? That place. There's not. No, 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 no. It was at like the their event center, like the SS Park event center. Hmm. And yeah. the, the people that put it on run that event center, so they didn't have to pay for the event center. So, on the flip anything. side of that, Marty, that was when the cons we saw everywhere, right? It kind of exploded there for the last five years. Actually, the last ten years, they've gotten pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? We were just had the Unicorn Brothers on last week. Going forward, like, are you have you have concerns about doing cons and autographing, the the social distancing and all that? You know what I mean? Photo ops, all that kind of stuff going forward. I, I, even if we have cons, right? Who knows what's going on right now? Yeah, I, I'm sure the con people have got to really be, you know, because there's you know there's people who who do them and that's their livelihood, and then there's people who do them and they screw everybody over too you know right right, right. yes not mention any names chris <clears throat> that's with us. Um, and that's from the dealers to the you know the actors the celebrities the artists everybody the, the vendors the the people coming in yeah yeah it's, it's bad i wish i could do the denver one i didn't get to do denver i heard that's a lot bigger or that yeah is it denver is it pretty big 
It was. Now they've that's gone downhill the last two years. Like it's what? ran by a conglomerate of people. A they don't nonprofit. know what they're I, I really hate the fact that they use the word nonprofit for their company. They really don't know what they're doing. World? No, no, they're their own company. It's a comp uh, people that started out here in Denver and then the original owner of it, right? You're gone. Uh, runner, CEO, whatever you want to call him, uh, was found to be embezzling money. So he stepped down and is gone. All those members that were with him are all gone now. They're and all they gone. have new board members uh, that don't know anything about. But What's it was on? it was set for Fourth of July weekend. So get this, it was set for Fourth of July weekend. Horrible right. choice, right? Yeah. They're traveling. They're out. They're camping. They're out bur uh, flipping burgers, having barbecues. They're not thinking about Comic Con and no. all the creators, the actors that were going to come, the the vendors that were going to be there. That's one of his days off, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. one yeah. of the few you know is small business owners. We get like five, you know, days yeah. off. They moved it to Thanksgiving Day weekend was their mastermind. So now it's on Black Friday. <laughs> when we're supposed to see a second round of all this if this happens again. So I'm going to go out of Lynn. I've been saying it. I don't think we're going to have any more cons this year, at least, you know. I, yeah, I mean, if, if if sports off the table right now, right. the last thing I want to do is go and, no offense, but hang around, you know, and you got all these people that are sweating, the, you know, what's off. Yeah, man. In those costumes. I don't want to be like, <laughs> exactly. I don't want to be fist pumping anybody. Yeah, some sweaty Jack Sparrow cosplayer yeah. coming up. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, and you should see how many I get. I mean, I love I them all, you. but they're all like, "Hey, can you give my information to, to Johnny?" I'm like, "Yeah, really, <laughs> Johnny." Yeah, so I never want to talk to the guy again. So I'll just give him my. Here, let me pull up his phone number for you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> That's on speed dial, right? Right. Yeah. No, number two is your wife. Number three is Johnny Depp. Yep. Yeah. You have an island where you living on that <laughs> island there. Where everybody yep. does this. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, dude, so we're that, so the draft, we just saw that in football. We were talking about football. The draft had to go virtual. Um, I don't think they're going to have fans in the stadiums this year, which is kind of a bummer for Vegas as the Raiders are moving. Get that brand. Vegas is going to kind of get the shaft Raider fans. So you missed the draft, and now you're not going to have the really celebration of what they should be celebrating of Vegas getting a team, you know, for the first right. time. When's our, but he, he kind of made a goof up because he said that. You'll get a mulligan. Does that mean it's going to be next year? It's going to be in Vegas. Or? He said twenty two to twenty twenty two. You get it. Oh, so, so not twenty one. Two, years. two, two years ahead. You know, Roger Goodell never says stuff the right way, does he? Yeah, uh, he. I felt bad for him though. I, mean, I don't know why he gets booed so bad. I mean, really, you know, because he's the one making the choice. I love the players, but man, they make so much money compared to what the real greats. I mean. You don't have a Barry Sanders today. That's and, true. Or you don't have a Michael Jordan today. And Michael Jordan ne never made the kind of money they're making. I, I think it was at the very end that didn't he get like a $36 million contract uh, very end of his, his Bulls career? Right. But otherwise, he was making nothing. You know, the Isaiah Thomas, the Magic Johnson, he signed a 25-year, $25, $25 million contract. So. Well, they made more money. They made more money from their, you know, their ads, Nike, and their their commercial base than they ever did for playing basketball. Yeah, but still, I mean, they, these guys that are getting money today, and then they're broke five years after. Right. And now you guys get, and I love Eric Dickerson, don't get me wrong, but you've got guys that are on, like Eric, who are saying that they should get a salary if they get inducted into the Hall of Fame as well. So not only your pension, but if you get inducted to the Hall of Fame, you should get another salary for being in there. I'm like, come on. Right. Yeah, actors don't get that. Nobody gets anything like that. You know, you have, yeah. you go splurge your money. Who goes, yeah, all the people that are, you know, barely scraping by, managing to take care of their family and watching and paying for all this stuff. And it, I, I felt kind of bad because I said to Michelle the other day, um, during the draft, it was weird. You see all these owners, and except for maybe the Miami Dolphins, everybody was like, you know, a rich white guy sitting in their rich white guy house. Right. And I, I felt bad because you had your fa their family members or kids hogging them every time they drafted somebody. And let's be honest, most of the people that they were drafting were of African American descent, right? So it's right. like I almost I said to Michelle, I go, this is almost like celebrating a rich slavery or something, you know, these it is the players are gonna make more than the general managers anyway, but still it's like the kids and they're all high five and like 
yeah, we got a, this guy. And I'm like, we just bought this like, person. <laughs> if you think, Dave Chappelle's brilliant about that. Have you watched Dave Chappelle stand up? Dave's a no, I haven't. No, what, what did he say? You better start dancing, singing, or be good at sports. That's, yeah. you know, that's your way out. That's it. That's, that's you know, it. have three comedians at a time too that are African American. So, you know, if anybody can rap nowadays. All you got to do is have that, that, that thing that makes your voice sound. Yeah, you know, you know, voice changer, synthesizer. I, I yeah. could be a rapper. Mm. Mm. I, I got, yeah. I got the chain. He's got the chain. Oh, you know, swear a bunch, and they're not it's like the old days, like Public Enemy and those guys used to. When they sang, they had a message. You know, Tupac had a message. Yeah, he, he might have used the N word or the F word a couple of times, but it wasn't just three words. You know, rapping it and singing it different ways, and you know, all auto tuned. Yeah, all auto tuned. What they use? That's what it is. Auto tuned. Like I like like Eminem. Like you know, I, I got to give respect to Eminem because everything has it, some kind of a message to it. You know, right? You know, whether he's bagging on somebody or whatever, but I don't just want to hear, yeah, smoke a blunt, yeah, my hoes. <laughs> Yeah, all this stuff. It's like, come on. I know. It gets all kind of recycled in, you know, the same stuff over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of gets corporate. I think that goes back to why Roger Goodell uh, gets moved because he's the corporate reflection in the NFL. And he's the face everything's so watered down now. TV, Netflix, sports. And as we're all trapped in our houses right now, I think we're all being yep. more, right? yep. everyone's, everyone's irritation levels way high and patients are way low on all that. Especially yeah. now, right? I mine are for sure. Yeah. We're we're stricken right now with uh, no new issue comic books. So you know, a lot of our outlets you know, reading comic books, comic books away, yeah. we can't even do that right now, which is kind of sad. The industry is in a crazy state right now. Uh, movies, yeah. acting, all that, right? I mean, every, the whole world's come to a halt. Right. <laughs> we got we got Gregor Hurt saying uh, that Martian loved you and Scrubs as Randall. Oh, the funny thing, you know what? The, how I got that name? Uh, Randall is actually one of the names of one of the produ producers. Randall's, um, Randall Winston. Winston, was it Winston? Yeah, Randall Winston, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, this, and he's the total opposite of me. I love the guy. And it's funny, every time they have a rap party, it'd be around Christmas or maybe it was a Christmas party, and I'd have to go stand on or sit on his lap, you know, whatever. But he's like <laughs> six, six. He's black and he's gay. It's like the total opposite of me. And that's how they came up with the name for Randall, Randall Winston. That's awesome. David David Johnson says he likes hearing rap music about blunts and O's. So eat your own. Blunts and O's, are you? <laughs> Some it's people like good. And it's a fantasy world, too. So, I mean, that's what music's for that, too, like entertainment, is, of course. Party has a Party Party Party. Favorite things. These are two balls. Two baseball signed by Pete Rose. Oh, I love Pete. I'm sorry for betting on baseball. And then I have yeah. my presidential uh, coins and couplings from Mr. Trump. Oh, really? That's yeah. cool. You have Trump couplings? Yeah, I do. The, pre the president, the United States seal, you know, the presidential Trump. Uh, oh, right on. Any of the presidential is good by any president, really. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. So At what? It has some Bush stuff because I'm a huge Bush fan. Are you? Yeah. Junior or senior? Junior? Uh, I'll take them both. Both? Either one. I mean, I like I like the swagger. I mean, I'm a Reagan guy myself all the way. Yeah, I mean, I'm a kid of the 80s. I, we had a good in the 80s as a kid. Yeah, right? Right? Ladies to the party real quick. This is my wife, Trish. Marty, she Hi, was Trisha. on a work call. Hi, sorry I had to take a work call. <laughs> That's okay. How you guys doing? Good. Do I get anything free today or what? Yeah, man. What do you need? I wish you were here. That's what I say. We need to get you out to Denver, Colorado. Let's let's talk about what you want to collect because we do coins, comics, cards, memorabilia, autographs, all that stuff, brother. So let's, you know, whatever you want to share with the people and show them, like, you know, let them know that actors collect things too. You know, I don't think a lot of people realize that. And we got a, we got you gave us a little quick little five five dollar tour there, and you got some amazing stuff, man. Yeah, my dad yeah. passed away like um, last year. And before, you know, we were going through his stuff. And he still had, I don't know if you could tell what those are. Can you see them? The Niners helmet? Oh, no, Kiss. I see it. Yeah, those are my eight tracks. Oh, oh nice. nice. I see it. Nice, bro. I still have my eight track of uh, was that Love Gun and Peter Chris. Awesome. And then I, I'm a big, uh, I love Mopar. 
So I, I've got this, you know, helmet case, but I put all my favorite Mopar cars in there. Yeah, all your die casts? Yeah. I'm a huge so, Mopar guy, too. Yeah, I used to be a member of the NHRA. My dad used to build dragsters, and my brother would race them. Woo! Oh, man, I'd, I'd love to race cars. I'd be... Yeah, he just, built a, he built the dragsters like you know from like like totally just built them ground up like yeah cool. yeah 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 yep. you guys watch those uh, outlaw shows those uh, Memphis Outlaws or what do they call I, it? I watched a couple of them, but I didn't get into it too much because it was like literally the same thing over and over again. So yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. I like I like JJ the boss. I like uh, I mean, I it would be cool to get something like because we're thinking about moving in a couple of years. From LA, we're gonna move. Uh, her family's from Tennessee, so we're probably gonna move to somewhere outside Knoxville. Yeah, and, uh, you get a lot more California, California, California anymore. No, it's expensive. I'm man. from California too, so I know. I was just looking at the old house I grew up in, and I, I'm from Redwood City, and uh, I lived in this little chintzy duplex. And I was looking at 850 square feet, two bedroom, one bath, and the place went for was a oh, 1.6 million. Like, yeah, you can afford that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't, I have no idea. Especially with all the illegals, how are they? I mean, you know, it was weird. Like, when you we used to film in Vancouver a lot, and they used to call it Hongcouver because the Chinese would come up to Vancouver and buy these small houses for like outrageous prices, yeah, and then you know, got too expensive, you couldn't buy anything. So, I, I don't know how the people are affording to live here. I, I don't know. So that's a film, that's yeah. a big part of the film industry too, right? A lot of people don't film outside of Universal, probably movies in LA, right? I mean, it's well, all you, yeah, Universal they film a little bit, but right. I mean, the, the bigger studios, if you think about it, they're all Disney or uh, Warner Brothers. True. They all film, but yeah, they do a lot of shooting in Atlanta, in uh, Louisiana. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been to both of those places, and uh, yeah, even this weekend. Walking Dead, Walking Dead's in Georgia. A lot of things are in Georgia now filming. Yeah. yeah. Well, Netflix just built a big old studio and it was already in production, but they they officially announced it just a, a, literally two a month before all this happened, but, but down in New Mexico. So they got a yeah. huge film studio or filming lot down there. Nice. Uh, so, you know, I got a lot of friends that are like, that do this stunt industry. So my buddy Gary yeah. Trick, he does, he has his own stunt team that he works with some of the Power Rangers guys with some other film project for students and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah. that's, they moved down to New Mexico and now everything's on on, on hold. Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah. we're not doing we got Gregor Hertz asking a qu question. And if you guys, if you guys have yeah, any yeah. questions for uh, Martin Kleba here, uh, actor, extraordinaire, stunt master. Jump in with Marty, ask him whatever ask you got questions. Yeah. So we got, he has Johnny Depp's personal phone number, rumor has. If you want Johnny yeah, Depp's number. I'll pull it up for you. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll post it on the bottom underneath my chin. Right, yeah. <laughs> so we got Gregor Hertz asking this question. Marty, as a uh, Michigan guy, are you a Red Wings fan? Hell yeah. Let's see who I got. Uh, Zetterberg. Um, and I have the greatest hockey player of all time. Wayne Gretzky? Gordy. No, Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe. Mr. I knew where he was going with that. I know. <laughs> he was a hoe. Oh, he's he's a hoe or... too. This is one of my favorite things I had made um quite a long time ago. It was uh let's see. It's in Michelle's area that I gotta fix up, but it's all my favorites. Kirk Gibson, Isaiah Thomas, uh Barry Sanders, and Steve Eiserman. Oh, there you go. Autograph? And then I have more jerseys up there. I have Barry Gibson, Eisenman Gibson with the Dodgers, and then Isaiah. So yeah, awesome. I'm a big Kirk Gibson guy. Well, you got to be a Dodgers Kirk Gibson guy too, then, huh? When they beat the A's. I do. I, I love Kirk Gibson. Here's one uh, signed by Gibson and Eckersley. Oh, cool! Yeah, that walk off right there. I was talking about. Yeah, and then I have uh, another one. It's re really weird. This is with the Tigers. And it's Gibson. Um, let's see if I got it right. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Right, right. Oh, here it is. Uh, Gibson and with, off of Goose Gossage. Yeah. Goose Gossage. Colorado guy, Goose Gossage. Oh, yeah. All right, there you go. And then I got Kirk Gibson, his uh, Tigers, 
Michigan. Michigan State because he played football for Michigan State. And then the Dodgers, ball, a whole bunch of stuff. I should get rid of that, some of this stuff, but uh, I'll wait till well, I If, you, have, if you ever want to get rid of it, let me know. As we do that, my friend. You, right. you can drive it by and drop and sell it on your way to Tennessee. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I might have to anyway just to get to Tennessee. Jeez. <laughs> I'll I'll fly out there and drive the truck for you. There you go. All right. Uh, I can't think of anything else. But I mean, we we didn't we we got so excited because you came on as a last minute guest. So thank you. Yeah. So no, much. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, you had literally your fix at home, and you had an hour to prepare for this. So you had to fix the sink. So hopefully that got done. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, hoping we'll see what the dishwasher. <laughs> Finishes the cycle that leaks. But we forgot to talk about our giveaway that we've been doing for this month. What is it? This is our Heritage Baseball. Box of Heritage Baseball card. 2020. So what, what people got to do to uh, win this box, and, and because I had a bunch of people sharing already, because you're on here, uh, that when you share, like, comment this stream, we're on Podbean, we're on Apple iTunes, on their – uh, we're on Google Play. We're on Spotify. So if you like, we're on YouTube Live right now as well. So if you like, comment, share any of those, you're going to get entries into our get monthly giveaway. We got this as one giveaway. And then we also have, because we partnered up with Altered Reality. If you haven't heard of them, they have several shows across uh, the na nation, mostly East Coast. Uh, but they put on our Colorado Springs Comic Con. So we're also giving away a uh, Saturday pair of uh, tickets to get into the con. Uh, I'll hoping... invite you to that con. You yeah, that they're good. They're legit. They're really good, actually. I'll, I'll ask I've Steve. Done it, I'll I've ask done Steve. it every year, Marty, and you, you like them. They're good people. They they they're no, doing it right. You the cons. The Springs one. You would know that they use an agent that they get all the actors from. I don't know the hook. I can find. We can find out for you. They though. they use a lot of green room experiences. I think. Uh, okay, so they I, had... just, um, I forget. Uh, I know there's like uh, three or four of them. I know Scott. Scott's my guy. Scott and Lori Mahoney. Um, I forget forget the name of the Prestige. I don't know. It sounds yeah, it's like can I have one. Yeah, I, 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 I can connect. I've hundreds of cons, and I'm going to one. Yeah, dude. Right. That doesn't make any sense. And then this, they're more of a they're more about getting like a genre. So they'll like two Pirates of the Caribbean. They try to get five or six actors of that movie. You know, all right. together. So you're not there by yourself either. They're they're bringing out Murr from uh, Practical Jokers, right? Oh, I like that show. Yeah. It was funny in the beginning. Now I'm kind of like, okay. It's, yeah, it's like the same thing over and over. But it's kind of like it jackass. Good. It's like, all right, okay, you've seen it. You but you I, done do love, I love that show. Those guys are funny. I mean, I, I don't see me and my friends just like that. You know. I'd be worried that somebody kicked my ass if I was one of those Impractical Jokers. You know, right, right. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> pushing the line really hard. So we got a question from uh, Stephanie. She volunteers with Carl Springs Comic Con, coincidentally enough, asking, what's your favorite movie ever shooting? Oh, shooting. Oh. <laughs> and I would say this is if you're the actor, if this was as you as a stunt person, any of your roles, TV, movie. I got to say, movie or TV show? She's asking movie. Okay, favorite movie has got to be Whatever you want. We did both of these together at one time, so I, I've got to say Pirates 2 and 3, because we were filming them for like a year. So we were just together. The only times we weren't together is when they would send us home, because there was a hurricane coming, and we'd have to go home for a couple of weeks and then come back. But filming Pirates 2 and 3 was my favorite. Right on. Yeah. Pirates 2, the best one, I think, in my opinion. I was just going to say, I, I agree with that, too. Pirates 2 is my favorite as well. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think one was the best, obviously, because it was the original. Yeah, true. Um, the origin. Yeah, Actually, I like five too because it brought a lot of stuff together. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I never seen four because I wasn't in it. So <laughs> I would say it's garbage. I don't like it. Well, <laughs> it, good. it still made a billion dollars. So I'm sure know, it right? did. Yeah, Disney knows what they're doing, man. You know anybody who makes these guys? Oh, Funko Pops. Pops. Yes, sir. But this was the only one I had it made by oh, these guys. Like, but I'm like, why why are they not making one of you know they have Jack, I get it, you know. Right. But they don't have me. And so you got it nice. So I'm the only one that has me, but I'm like, why doesn't you know, I wish they would make one of me, you know, in their lineup. 
I'm surprised they haven't. And what, what's the outfit everything. from? Huh? What's the outfit from? That's pirates. Is it a pirate? Yeah, it's it's well, it's they didn't make it. I had it uh, made by these these guys that make them, um, like specialized ones. It's a custom, it yeah. A while, but, you know, my hand has got my vest. It's got the keys underneath my neck. Yeah, I see. Chin, my gun, my pants, my shoes. It's got everything. Right. So. Some of those guys do amazing. He has dirt on my face. <laughs> right. Yeah, because you know you're always squinting when you're a pirate. So, well, you can't be a clean pirate. That's one other thing accurate about pirates of the Caribbean. They Here's made everybody. One. Like, I could, these are from China. I don't know how I got a hold of it, but it's like I don't know if it's part of like a little card game or. Like yeah, that looks like a barrel with my big bluster gun. That might yeah. be from a board game or something too. Yeah. So. Is there any is there any other action figures of you? Because yeah. I mean, you, you're one of the uh, actual pivotal pirates. Yeah. that were in there. I think that's the coolest thing. Let's see your action yeah, figure. Yeah. He's got to have a pirate figure. I mean, I don't have an action figure. I have well, a, this good. one. I don't have a pop either. Sitting one by Duck Gun. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And then uh, where else did I just? I have me. I don't know where I put me. Uh, oh, I know where they are. Hold on. No, no, go ahead. Hold on. Well, you got another question here too from Gregor. It looks like yeah. Please keep it. Keep the questions Hold coming. On. I'm trying to get it. Because oh. I was trying to look at his stuff. No. Oh. <laughs> What's Gregor's question there, real quick, Ken? So I'll pop that out there. So he's asking, who is your act the actor you liked working with the best? Oh, here we go. See, that's what's up. On ah, card, card sweet. is brand new. On card. Yep. Did you autograph that for yourself? <laughs> is it autograph? No. I the just have them in case, like, I'll get those sob stories. You're like, somebody needs to raise money for somebody because they're not doing well. And so I'll autograph it and send it in the mail and... Yeah, right. You know, I, I just started selling photos and stuff from my Facebook. I, I don't think you can do that, but if people p PM me and they Venmo me, uh, I'll you know sign a picture, autograph picture, or, a, or something like this. I haven't figured out what I'd sell that for, but you know, I'll drop it in the mail, all for one price, you know, kind of thing. But yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, it to be you one of the it right now and it'll go up in value <laughs> right fun. before our very eyes <laughs> witnessed witness yeah <laughs> we know it's legit well hello sudan oh like here we go name, right hey what's up how you doing I'll put lies the rum gone <laughs> awesome, dude. Nice. Awesome, bro. Because <laughs> Ken was there. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Beautiful, dude. <laughs> Just went up in value. That's awesome. Yeah. How often do you ever get to see anything like that? Awesome. Or yeah, hear about it. Really weird. People always say, you know, people I grew up with, they're like, oh, you know, you made it when you got an action figure. I'm like, well, if I made it, why do I want to get the hell out of LA? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that means you made it, right? Because you, you you're at the point fly. where you can get the hell out of L.A. You, you're flying. All my money is going to, you know, this damn economy for, yeah. you know, whether it's the HOAs or the taxes and, you know, move to Tennessee or something where they got no state income tax. Right. Well, you know, I, we still have HOAs. Here's, we the, have ironic, HOAs. here's the ironic mm -hmm. thing with the American dream now. You want, they, you're supposed to make it, right? Make it big, yeah. make it successful in America. And then they can punish you with tax. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. If you make it, you get 50% yeah. of your money taken away. So we got a question from Gregor, uh, one of our big uh, fans here at Fall Seas. He's uh, been an avid collector for many years, but asking, who is the actor you like working with the best? Well, who's my favorite actor working with? Um, gosh. You know, I... I love Johnny, like nobody, but Johnny, we have fun. You know, Johnny's kind of guy that comes to set. He's, he's a man. He's just a, he's a guy's guy. You know, so is Orlando. Orlando's the kind of guy that like, like when we were doing the bone cage, you know, he's like, oh, sorry, mates. I'm like, 
What? He goes, I just fought it, man. Orlando Bloom said that? Yeah, he said that because we, we were stuck in the bone cage, you know, right feet in the air, even though it was going to be the lifted away, but still, it's like, ah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a Donnie, Donnie's awesome. Donnie showed me something. I we try to one up each other, and I never heard of guys being bored with two. Two wieners? Really? Yeah. What? Two wieners? Yeah. I didn't I, and I heard the word before, but I never, I think it's called like dipothelia or something. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, but, Johnny definitely know. That makes sense. I, I believe that. He probably I could. tried to one up him, you know, and I, I, I got him on, I showed him something that made him like hurl. So, wait, I'm are not you going to talk about it on here? <laughs> oh, you can. This is an adult podcast. You don't have to worry about that, Marty. We're Wait a minute. Right. So he has two wieners, or you guys know somebody that's got two wieners? <laughs> no, man, women are going crazy if they know Johnny Depp has two wieners. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> I didn't believe him until he showed me pictures. Like, on, like it's online. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's like the two like One guy tape. talks about how both of them work. <laughs> one's five inches and one's six inches. What? <laughs> yeah, they both work. So hey. one's a kickstand for the other. Got it. John, yeah. Holmes, <laughs> John Holmes still has not beat with one wiener compared to the both those wieners. Yeah. <laughs> I think about those little kickstand pedis for the little scooter things that have the little V shape and it's like yeah. you just hold yourself up with it. That's good to know about Johnny Depp. I always wonder about Johnny Depp. How he is as a real person, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's super, he's super cool. As I mean, know, person, so, Jeffrey Ross is pretty awesome. <laughs> to work with somebody like Jeffrey Ross was amazing, you know. Right. He's like, he's like the Marlon Brando kind of an actor. You know, like you're in, you're in royalty when you work with somebody like, you know. Yeah. Like Jeffrey Ross. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All those people are mythical creatures, almost. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, 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 it's and then the whole Disney. You, you're on a Disney ride now, basically, right? Yeah. Are you on the ride yeah. in Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh, Disney no, Land? I'm not on the ride. I've, You're I've not, been yeah. on the ride, but I've never, I'm not on the ride. <laughs> well, because they adapted. Like, they did Blackbeard, and they did uh, Johnny's on the ride now, too. Yeah. Well, it looks like you need to be on the ride, and yeah. I need to actually go on this. I, I tried to get on that ride when I went there the few times, and I could never. The line was too dang long. It's the same, but they, like, added, like, updated it. So they put the modern Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. on yeah. They're saying uh, Disney uh, theme parks will probably will not open. Speculation. I don't think it's confirmed. Right. Speculation. Not they're not going to open until twenty twenty one. Well, that just gives me time to save up so we can go. They're losing that's billions. Right. That goes back to the billions of dollars. That goes back to the Comic Con. We're not going to see a Comic Con in twenty twenty. Then I don't think. Yeah. Think, <laughs> about the, think of all those park employees. That, I think Disney laid them all off. Yeah. They yeah. they were paying them. I don't know if they're still paying them. I thought that was also good. You know, well, then you just got to cut them loose. Right, yeah. Because you'll well, always get people that want to work there. You know, so it's like you'll always get yeah. kids that are their first jobs. And, you know, but there's some people that are up there. I mean, you can't blame Disney. I mean, you want to be a good guy, but you can't, like, well, I'm going to carry you through this because who knows how long it's going to be. Well, and the guys who make, like, the Disney, what do they call them? The Disney scientist guys, the guys who make, like, the animatronic parts for the ride, they're called something. Oh, like they're, it. um, the high end guys that work at Disney parks. They're the engineers, know? but they call them like mouse uh, They're not mouseketeers. Mouse mouse engineers. Or, I don't mousing know. engineers or something or, or fun All engineers. All those guys have to be something. furloughed right now, though. I mean, that's a huge money hole. Even Disney can't throw money in a hole forever. You know, nobody can. Think about that new part of the, the Star Wars park opened up and now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wanted to go to that, man. That was my. That was what I wanted to do for my birthday. This is I'm. June is my 40th birthday. And I told him that's all I want to do for either our anniversary or our birthday because it's with two weeks apart. Right. I want to go to and ride those rides with you and all shot. <laughs> what's, what's your birthday? June eighteenth. Oh, I'm June. Oh, that's our anniversary is June eighteenth. Oh, oh, really? Nice. Or yeah, is it my, my birthday is the twenty third. David, so you're jo Gemini as well? No, I'm a, I'm Cancer. Oh, that's right. You're right on the cusp. David oh, Johnson, the Imagineers. 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 That's what, it. What were, Imagineers. That's it. So, so you're gonna you're saying that on uh, June 23rd you're gonna be 25. So that's what you're telling me. Okay, got it. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be 51. Oh my goodness! I know. I, I mean, this, this is gonna be me in a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> that's not where you put the mask. <laughs> I know, right? 
<laughs> yeah, I took the mask in the wrong place. <laughs> looks, like, <laughs> looks like a COVID mask. <laughs> I know it does, doesn't it? Well, yeah, we well, all that's, have. That's, that's, that's from uh, you know Oliver um, Oliver Peck from uh, the uh, Ink Masters. Yeah, I know who Oliver Peck is. Great yeah, uh, Ink. Oliver Oliver did my uh, my Hong Kong Fui. Awesome, dude. That's from Oliver Peck. Yeah. That's badass. He's in Austin, right? Austin, Texas. I uh, somewhere in Texas. Uh, yeah. And then I got the three one three, but the three one three uh, with the machine gun. That's for, awesome. For nice. Dude. Dope. Yeah, Oliver Peck on Ink Master with Dave Navarro, the show on Spike TV. Yeah. 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 He's There's a greedy. Like tigers from the '80s. That's when they're happy. They they uh they break the bat, and when they're sad, they cry, and they they got bandages. Meow. <laughs> oh, that's dope it. What, what was awesome was he got a tattoo and didn't tell the missus and she found out from when he posted it on facebook <laughs> that's the first you heard of it you just black that out that's okay no 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 that's the <laughs> <laughs> and, and the worst one of them all some guy i was at a uh, wizard world con and the guy's like hey i want to give you a tattoo and uh so i'm like all right you know because he wanted to like do it they were doing them at the con so right 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 this tattoo i had no idea what's so bad about that that's badass that came out good for contact yeah but it's me <laughs> yeah right i know <laughs> Turn back around, like, I <laughs> oh man all right that's awesome I look that's... Like i'm kind of full of myself you know hey <laughs> If I was in Pirates of the Caribbean, I would definitely have a tattoo of myself. He would tattoo. I would definitely do it. He would just do it just to do it. Yeah, if somebody so. would do it for him. <laughs> you know, just just to let you know, they do have. Uh, uh, why can't uh, it's Ink Empire or it's like Empire of Ink or something? I I can't remember at Colorado Springs mm -hmm. Con they are they will have uh, tattooing on site. They will. So Steve, they want to get Stephanie, one, if you're still on here. We need to tell Steve and Connie that we need to get uh everybody come get your tram get stand. Marty to uh <laughs> to Colorado Springs Comic Con if we're still having it. Thanks. I will say yeah. real quick Colorado Springs Con. Um they do have the capacity capability of making that con work because it's uniquely in a mall. So they could they could get people in and out. They can space it out. They're they're about 20, 25,000 people, I think. Right. So they it's not the like numbers. New York Comic Con, San Diego right. Comic Con. Even if you're talking about the crappy uh shouldn't be named with Denver Pop Culture Comic Con. You know they were at their max. They were already in trouble with the fire marshal. Yeah, from the they're they're, they're over a hundred thousand. That's Springs hasn't over. had that issue. They can't handle it. Well. Springs handles it well. They have great well, Bergie, guests. Bergie down there. My Bergie's all yeah. over it, man. And they always they're, they're always doing it, and they're always on the go. These guys are working it at the con while they're always busy. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Right. So these well, are people. I'll try and get you in contact with them. Just uh, I know you're at home. The missus will not let you leave. Uh, 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 you know, we'll have, kind of, we'll have social <laughs> come you know, like, August. It's, it's, it's uh, August twenty first to the twenty third. Those photo ops and stuff like that probably won't happen. I wouldn't shake nobody's hands if I was Marty. I wouldn't want to. You know, I, I wouldn't even. I never, even then, I did. I never. I always kind of fist bump, you know, and then yeah, you know, right. get out of here. Let's be honest. It's a Comic Con, and not all those people are the most sanitary people in the world. They can't afford the order. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or stores, apparently. I know. So right? that is what it is. Uh, choices. Life choices. Right. <laughs> I'll go wherever I want to go. Woman. I'll go wherever I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Fair enough. Love you, Michelle. Love I get it, yeah. Michelle. We get it. <laughs> Because I have to take care of his whiny butt when he's sick. Oh, right. right. <laughs> he just needs some chicken, chicken soup for the soul, right? That's the book. No, yeah, that, right? That book is as good as bathroom toilet. Like, well, I shouldn't say. I'm going to social distance myself from her. You don't have far to go. Yeah, I know. Uh, Douglas Moe is asking, if you could make an appearance in an existing movie or TV series, what would it be? Like, they called you up. You're like, I'm there. Existing, yeah. Well, I'm I'm still waiting for them to come up with um, uh, like somewhere in the Avenger world or whatever. Um, you got the Canadian guys with to the Alpha flight, right? Yeah. yeah. So Puck, Puck. Yeah, Puck. Yeah, bro, Puck. Yes. So I, I, that'd be cool. Um, I did want to do Walking Dead for a while, but like, you know what? I don't know how people 
I'm Michelle watches it. I'm kind of over it, even though I yeah, know I was never, never, never into it. I liked I it in the beginning. It. The comic's so good. That comic's so much better than that TV show is. TV show. And my thing is, is like, how do all these girls still they dress hip, they look cool, they all know how to work an AR-15? I'm like, right. really? They got, they, got that re- up. they got that recoil down. They don't worry about that recoil. Yeah. They got right. makeup. Uh, uh, like zombie apocalypse. And you never see a handicapped person. Yeah. Speaking of stinking, people be stinking in that too. Everyone looks clean. No, there's no yeah. showers and running water, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like Anthony, my son, Power Ranger Anthony, when you met him, uh, yeah. w- one of the things that we've been working on is doing some, he has his YouTube channel, which is the Power Ranger Anthony channel on YouTube, but we've been working with other like cosplayers and stuff on different ideas of what we want to film. And I had a great idea for you oh, yeah. that if we, if we did a fan film of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and it's all just all cosplayers, Anthony's in it, whatnot, uh, in his chair and everything. You as Zordon. So you're the big blue head in the tube. You don't? That's all right. No, I, yeah, he doesn't. I don't know, no, no. I don't I don't know either. I don't, I don't know either. one thing about Power Rangers. Me either, brother. Me but either. I'm pretty sure you know Jason <laughs> David Frank. I'm pretty sure you ran into him at college. No, Jason he Frank, he just told you. you don't know. Uh, all right. Anyway. I see a bunch of those guys. I see them out there. They, yeah. they run. They do their flips in the air. And, um, yeah. They're, they're, with Walter, I think he was the black one. Yeah, so he, he uh, Zordon is like the mentor character of of the Power Rangers. Okay. Uh, and his it all he is is a floating head in a tube. Oh wow. Yeah. So and then uh, what's his name from uh, the meth meth show was 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 Zordon in the new movie? We talking about meth show? Breaking, Breaking Bad. The, the cook. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Yeah, the cook. The main oh, cook. Jesse. Yeah. No, the other guy, the old guy. Oh, Walter Eisenberg? White. Yeah. Well, Walter Weiss, the, guy, the actor who played him. Eisenberg, yeah. Uh, played him in the the new rebooted uh, thing. Like, so he was like this. In that new movie? Yeah, in the in the 2000. He was like this technic. Uh, they like, got him in that movie? Like, you remember those old pin yeah, things that you put your face yeah. in or the, the <laughs> yeah. or your hands? It was like yeah. one of those, but on like the spaceship wall, right? So his head would go from the wall to like that, right? And, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so. That that's the kind of the role I see you playing. Like, new Power Rangers movie. Come on, you need to right. contact. Yeah, let's uh, let Marty Brother. answer the question. You always get back to Power Rangers here. What oh, about Krillin? Nerd, nerd, nerd. <laughs> nerd. Jeez. But <laughs> what about um? What if, what's the other one? Dragon Ball. I think uh, Krillin. Krillin. Yes, I saw you post that. That would a new uh, if they did a Dragon Ball actual live action. Right. Boom. Yeah. Krillin. That'd right. Be awesome. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. I could see that. On DC Universe, there's a bunch. There's a uh, Mr. Mexiplex. Oh yeah, Mr. Mexiplex on DC. DC. There's Batman. Oh, come on. There's Batman. Batman. It's a Batman from a different universe, so you could actually be Batman. Could be Batman. That'd be dope. Yeah, my my daughter would love that. My son, my son's grown up now, but back they're doing that multiverse thing on DC now. They should definitely get that done. Yeah, you could be on uh, the WB right there because they're they're starting to expand their their. TV cinematic DC universe. Are they finally? Well, they got the so they got Batwoman right, and now that everything's kind of been postponed on filming, they haven't really announced what they got coming out. But Arrow and Arrow's ending, which started all of it, they still got Flash and Supergirl at least for one more season. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow, I think, is going away, but who knows with that? And then uh, because. One of the other actors that I'm friends with, uh, Brennan Mejia, yep. we, we brought him out here for Power Ranger Day and, yes, sir. and stuff. Uh, we said he should be like uh, Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis. Uh, oh, okay. But I, I, can, I see that's where the CW is going, right? They're going to go into that cinematic. And people want these characters in the movies. But the CW is like, hey, we, we're doing whatever we want over here. Truth. I know. Well, you know what? Just, we, we used to be in a... Um, we did 10 episodes before we got canceled, but uh, did you guys ever see The Cape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, and I didn't watch The Cape. I didn't. I, I know. A lot of people it say good. it was great because they could sit down with their, their kids or their family on a Sunday night and watch a, like a good, wholesome TV show like we used to do it back in the day. But, right. Like that uh, and then all of a sudden, we got canceled, and then Arrow came out. And it's like, I know Arrow's been around for a long time in the comic book world, but 
it was pretty much the cape once it hit TV and it was like, dang. And I'm like, why didn't the CW or somebody pick that up, you know? Yeah, well, the cape was on Fox, I think, wasn't it? We were on NBC. I don't, I think. Was it NBC? That's right. I think you're right. That's right. So Gregor Hurts yeah, so they... wasn't bad. It's just a horrible title for the show. Right. Yeah. Yeah. TV's hard to translate comic books sometimes too, because it's ultra violent in ways. It just depends on what story you want to tell. Like the boys, yeah. have you watched the boys on Amazon? The boys on Amazon are an extreme version of what superheroes would do with their powers in the real world. So yeah, basically in the, world, in, the, in the world we live with COVID nineteen, that's the boys kind of in a way. Right, right, right. So have you seen it yet? Have I seen what? The boys. Have you seen it yet? Oh my good, goodness, check it's it out. so good. I, I'm a chick and I think it is like probably the best TV, one of the best TV series I've ever seen. I, it's mean, not, I was hooked on it. It's not wholesome at all though. It's, no, it's, it's not. It's an extreme What's opposite. about? Superheroes that Anti run. heroes Yeah, they're, they're godlike creatures in society because they save us from everything. Oh. So they're put on a pedestal of a higher <laughs> level. So it's about America, a corporate a corporations in the world using those characters to their own benefit basically yep yeah they basically montanizing themselves they work right. for this lady and uh there is a superman-esque individual in there they have a wonder woman type girl right uh starlight which is like i don't want to tell girl. you too much about yeah. it because they their their origins are a little different than what you would think they would be so gregor gregor says mother milk is badass mother yeah. milk is badass do you have amazon <clears throat> prime what's that do you have amazon prime do we have Amazon Prime? I guess we do. It's yeah, on there. Amazon, it's, it's on good. there. I and watch, pretty I, sure I watch the same free. thing every day. But I watch. What am I watching right now? I watch stuff about fixing cars. Right. Oak Island or uh, National Geographic or Discovery. Those kind of things. Yeah, I, I love all that. I like Beyonce. Uh, and I like anything on A and E, like um, Live PD. Nice, that me too, for sure. I love first forty-eight. Heck yeah! I don't know why they people that give people such a bad time would give cops such a bad time. It's like, do you watch first forty-eight? Right. Do you see what they have to go through. Or live Not PD, where they put the cam on them and you got to just see them walk up on situations. How people approach yep. them right off the bat. Yep. Thank yep. goodness. I had a cop yesterday. I had a cop come knock on the door at the store here, mm -hmm. and I came walking up to the door because we're closed. You know. And he put his hands up. He's like, hey, it's cool. Don't think I'm here to hassle you or anything. I just want to buy some baseball cards. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, we're closed. But I can't tell you. And he's like, well, it's a bunch of bullshit conspiracy. And he's like, let me in. I'll buy something. I'm like, all right, come on in, dude. <laughs> no problem. It's a trap. So, and then he robbed James at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a cop. He lady in a mask. Hey, I've sweet. got a bunch of baseball cards I've never opened. Oh, I don't think they're worth anything because I think they're like nineties and up. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. That stuff was junk for a long time, but it's coming back now. All yeah. that Jordan yeah, okay. stuff, you know, Jeter, Jeter and Jordan, nineties kids. Yeah, we, we just uh, in our live cell, we've just done a lot, a lot of nineties and nineties ones, like old baseball, football. Yeah, and people stuff. still like that Jordan. Stuff, so what? Man. What was the one with the the kids in it in the background? What was the the brothers in the skybox? Oh, the Menendez brothers. So the Menendez oh, brothers. Yeah. Was in this skybox product for this one uh, baseball Mark, G Mark Jackson basketball. Mark Jackson basketball card for the New York Knicks. So they were in the background, and people were buying. It up was that. the night, the night of, or the next day, murdering their parents. They went to the Knicks front row. It was the day oh. after. Like, yeah, and hoops got them on this basket. Mark Jackson's like dribbling the ball up court, and they're yeah. in the background just like cheering on the game because they could get front row tickets to the NBA game. It's on this. It's so how on much did the card go for? Uh, now eBay pulled it off. It was hitting like 30, 40 bucks, but now you can't listen oh, on eBay anymore. Why? eBay has the anti serial killer deal that you can't listen to. Yeah. Nazi either. They weren't serial killers. It was uh, well, two any people kind of murderer. And a, one, it's one and done. Although it depends or on the murder. Gun. Depends <laughs> on the, suit and the murder. Like you can't list uh, Nazi Germany stuff, but you can list uh, World War II, Russian, Stalin stuff. So go figure it oh, out. Right, right. Hmm. Hey, so just out of curiosity, because we've asked this question and it's been asked of other actors that we've had on, uh, how often, or even do you, because we found out from one guy, he doesn't even watch any of this, his, how often do you watch your own stuff that you've been in? 
I don't. I, I, and, and I don't like they, my voice. I don't like hearing my voice, like, replayed back or whatever. I get so, that. No, you don't. Um, I, I did watch Mirror Mirror with my daughter um, a couple of weeks ago, and now she watches it. And mm, I mean, I, I scroll through and I see, like, I have auto record so that if I can get something that I'm on so I can show her, but I don't really. That's why I saw it today. I'm like, oh, iCarly, my episode of iCarly is going to be on. And um, so, but I, I mean, Pirates is fun to watch because I don't have to concentrate on me. It's, they're just all around good movies, you know? Yeah, it's a good, it's, it's good action, good story too. That's, that's what I liked about Pirates is, you know, it wasn't just about the action. It was actually a good storyline too. Right, um, totally. Story arc. But like, I got excited when I saw you in Hancock. Oh, God. Yeah, but my role was supposed to be the guy whose head ends up that guy's butt. Oh, really? <laughs> my friend Dave, Maddie. But the director, which was an actor, um, I forget his name now. He was in Corky Romano. He was in... Um, Corky Romano. <laughs> he, been, he went on to be a big-time director. I forget his name. But anyway, he... Uh, the two, or day, two or three days before that, they, they were doing stuff with extras. And the guy that had uh, ended up there must have really kissed his butt, and they they gave him. I, I was already on contract, so it didn't matter. I got to pay me regardless. But they ended up giving that uh, head part up to another guy, and I didn't think it worked as well because we were going to do it where I was on a wire, so like the guy would be walking away, and then I would be dangling, like just kind of hanging out. <laughs> but, yeah. Hell yeah, that was a lot better. Around. Like walking with the guy. Yeah. <laughs> So, but whatever, that's that, you know, what are you going to do? Now, I, I, I got to do it, you know, just because, you know, I know, I know Michelle, I, I met her, I kind of friend requested her as well through Facebook and saw that she was doing the jewelry and stuff like that. So quick paparazzi. plug. For your, yeah. Yeah. Paparazzi jewelry, quick plug for your wife. She sells it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm wearing it right now. You know, I like these chains. Yeah, kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I got, got that. Uh, Kid's really stepping up his game. I like it with these chains. He needs more. He's like, like two, three, four. Uh, it goes. It goes really well. Those Kyries with these Tiffany color Kyries. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> stepping <laughs> his game up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, I, I, I working with James. You know, I don't actually work at the store. I kind of helped him out at the game in the gaming arena for like all their Pokemon stuff. Because that's another thing Anthony does. He plays Pokemon. So he's kind of sponsored by the store to play Pokemon when they have their tournaments here. So he is my Pokemon player. Yeah. So uh, we do live videos and unboxings and stuff like that. But, you know, he is. I love helping out James because he's about the community. You know, wow. uh, you know about uh, just so we can plug him because we don't do it every show. But yeah. Oh, one of the nonprofits that were based not necessarily out of all seas, but James' brother Jason uh, helped found, found uh, because of the uh, Aurora Theater shooting uh, yeah. with Batman and stuff. Uh, this is Batman, uh, the third movie, the with, third one, Dark with James Holmes. Remember the James Holmes theater shooting, the third Batman movie with Christian Bale. Uh, Aurora did they take that out or they didn't show it or. It happened. What it was that? a it was a midnight release, and actually, and a lot of people don't know this, except for the people right. like the close to me. I was supposed to be there, but the company I worked for, we were off every other Friday. But the guy, the management, was like, "Hey, we're offering overtime," which for me that was double time. Oh, <laughs> I was like, the "Yeah, only fifty bucks an hour." The theater's right <laughs> across the street from our store, so yeah, it's right that, down the street where that theater shoot. Basically, James Holmes came in the exit doors of the theater shooting at a midnight release of Batman. The third movie, the bat, the main one, and open fire on people in attendance the AR-15. Yeah, so uh, Jason and some other people helped found uh, Aurora Rise, which is a nonprofit that helps uh, the victims of the Aurora Theater shooting, whether it's for groceries. Right. I, I saw they helped with a down payment for a kid for his car. Uh, you know, it was 12, 12 people that died. Twelve people that died, um, and then a lot of people affected. One person's all life. I mean, not life. Um, you know, feeding to yeah. respirators. So he's been uh, uh, paralyzed for the rest of his life. Big shout out to Aurora Rise. Uh, they do a lot of fundraising here at the store, 
And that's one of my big things. It's one of the reasons why I like James so much is because I work a lot with different nonprofits, whether it be local here or national, like with Anthony stuff, with spinal uh, muscular atrophy and those. And uh, now he, his, Anthony's uh, charity of choice now is Magic Wheelchair. Which is an awesome charity uh, as well. Do They do great work. Yeah, they do we, amazing We'd love things. to help them out as well. You know, Ken, Ken does great work for them. And we all, you know, for Anthony. So it's, it's a lot of fun, you know? Yeah. And so me helping out with these videos, I'm usually behind the camera. I'm helping out with the live sales, making sure we have at least the right program. We not we might not be able to afford all the fancy equipment, you know, <laughs> because it's just a collectible store. If anyone's looking to sell their equipment, we're, we're looking for mics, we're looking for the board, you know, hey, for podcast, equipment, <laughs> pack, for sure. podcast equipment. Hey, yeah, Joe Rogan. Sell, I found somebody who will buy all the stuff off of you when I die. <laughs> <laughs> this, okay. this will be all yours one day. It will be a standing officer, Marty, or uh, offer, Marty, that I will come fly out there and drive the truck all straight to all seas. Right. There you go. <laughs> we'll truck here, here. Marty. Even if it's not, we do our own little show. We it's do shows here. We do a little like collect classical cl collectible show, you know, at a hotel. But even if I can't get you at that, we'll try to do an in store signing or something. Get you out here, yeah. you and your wife. I very much appreciate you guys. Anytime you guys are open for that, we'll let Ken uh, talk to you about that. But we'll pay your airfare and hotel for coming. Even out. if we have to get one of those bubble suits, we'll right. hook you up. Like Bubble Boy. Like Bubble Boy, yeah. We'll, we'll keep myself happy. We'll get you a bubble suit. I have one, but it's for my bike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. well, hold on. Awesome. Thank you, Marty. You're the man, brother. He's showing us the bubble suit. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah. I want to see this bubble suit. So we can get this uh, in the works. Get you out here. When you show us this, we expect you to show up in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drive the bike out here. We'll pay for gas. Do you see it? That is awesome. Oh, yeah, I do see it. I yes. see it. I see it. That's awesome. Nice. I want one of those. I need one of those when we reopen. I have to go look at collections in people's houses and stuff. Mm. Hey, how much do you think I could get for this bike? Hold on. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> I, this is what I want to do on the podcast. Buy stuff. Yeah. It's autographed by Johnny Depp. Oh, really? No Ooh. shit? Yeah, that's wow. It's, Dude, a, that's it's a chopper. Neat. It's eight feet long. And it's got Johnny's autograph right there. Wow. Damn, and brother. It's got him on it because it's, it's a Pirates of the Caribbean. So Johnny's on the gas tank. Yeah, yep, yep. Wow, dude. The black pearl. Literally the black, the black pearl Harley. Is it a Harley? It's a, no, it's a custom made from the ground up. Chopper. Just a chopper. Custom oh, okay, chopper. custom. I got you. Dude, that's okay. sick. That's anyway. sick, bro. That's a who knows what quarter million. Uh. <laughs> I had an offer for 50 and I turned it down. Oops. Yeah. 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 It's worth way more than that. Yeah. I probably saw it for a hundred. Right. Right. You guys heard it here first. There the it is. Collector's edition. I think that's a hell of a deal. <laughs> if that was in a store and somebody like Rick at Pawn Stars, Rick at Pawn Stars yeah. put a million bucks on that. He bet 250000 on it. Would you autograph it as well? Uh. Maybe, but I, I think it'd be worth more if you just had Johnny because that's that's or get well, you get the whole cast, you get McShamus or Blackbeard on there and everybody else. What's yeah. his name? Ian McShane, Ian McShane, Ian McShane. Ian McShane. He's yeah, a great think he's as big a deal as I would if I was gonna do it, I'd do it like the, the uh, yeah, Orlando, like yeah, Orlando. Johnny, Orlando, Kira, um, Jeffrey yeah, Kira Rose, Knightley. Kevin McNally, you know. Maybe Patel and Mackenzie. That's who I named my, my daughter after was uh Mackenzie Crook, the guy who played Rigetti, the guy with the wooden eye. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. Right on. But I yeah. I loved him as an actor and I we wanted a different name and uh but we couldn't get it because her best friend had already had a daughter and named her that it was uh mm -hmm. Madison because Mackenzie Michelle always wanted a girl named Madison and it was uh so it would have been Maddie. So when she already took that name and they, neither one of them knew that that's what they wanted, um, she got it first. And then I was like, well, what about Mackenzie? So 
That's what we call, we got Mackenzie. I call her a little Mackie. Uh, and we can we can end it with this last question from Gregor Hertz here, because uh, we're right about an hour right now. So, do you prefer doing sci-fi, fantasy, comedy, or action more in your roles? Action. Action. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm a big action guy. Good actor com coming out there. Yeah, I like to fight. You know what? We need you in the next John Wick Four. John Wick Four. Yeah. Out. John Wick Four. That'd be sweet. That'd be dope. Nice great. You versus Keanu. I love Keanu Reeves. <laughs> John Wick's a badass, but I don't think he's taking on Marty. I'm my money's on Marty on that one. I think you could yeah. do some crazy stuff in Matrix Four. Just be in both. Yeah, How about that? that'd be, be dope. Movies. <laughs> well, I fought Jet Li in Cradle to the Grave. But I had to have like 30 guys come and help me, and he still kicked our butt. <laughs> I do remember that. I love Cradle of the Grave. Cradle of the Grave. Awesome. Uh, but, so. you know, again, thank you for coming on in short such notice. Thank you for Michelle. We're very honored. Uh, very honored you know, to, to the family with taking us. this time out with us. Thank you very much, especially on a yeah, Sunday. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy your paparazzi. It's awesome stuff. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. I got to, I actually got to uh, nail up my wife's. Uh, this is the most jewelry she's ever had in her life. She's never really bought it for herself. Uh, she doesn't have super expensive taste anyway. She's not about the diamond life. You know, she's not about gold. Uh, right. I lucked out there. That's a keeper. <laughs> yeah. But when when we saw Michelle's lives, that's we started seeing those lives videos and stuff. And I was like, hey, do you like this stuff? She's like, well, what kind of metal is it? Because she does have a metal allergy. Yeah. And we so we got a surgical steel. So it's uh, uh, lead and nickel free. Okay. Uh, and that's that's kind of what I know about it. Right. That's what you want. I think that's a qualifies. Right. It doesn't turn my neck green. So right. Nope. That's what's good. But uh, so we tried out a piece and she liked it. So we bought a few more and then uh, I think we got like eleven or twelve pieces coming this week. Oh, wow. <laughs> I say pimp out can even more. I like it. I like the look he's going for. I'm all about it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Awesome. But, yeah, no, it, it's awesome to have you guys on here, have you on here, uh, just to see some of your massive collection. I mean, you showed yeah, us brother. more before the podcast. Uh, yeah. uh, we definitely want to bring you guys out here for either our October show or just a special event. You know, we could, yeah, whatever. Just I helped print out a green screen. We can easily do a green screen thing. Right. As soon as, <laughs> yeah. as, soon as I all want, this I want to see your boy again. Yeah, he would love it. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's now seen a lot more stuff with you in it. So when it was funny, just just a kind of quick quick story. He came up to him. I was excited because I was like, you know who that is? Right. And Anthony's like, I I, I don't know. Uh -uh. I, I don't know. I was like he's like he's like me and the Power Ranger. Yeah. So <laughs> Marty was awesome because everybody, and it's not just him. Everybody comes up to Anthony and they're like, they're very treating him like he's porcelain. He's like, oh, can, can I? They always ask me if they can talk to him because nobody knows. Right. Nobody knows if he can if he talks right. like a normal person or if there's if whatever what what their disability. It's, right. it's always it's always a weird conversation, right? Could be a lot of different things. So uh, I was like, I don't want to ask him. You know, he's like, can I give him an autograph? I'm like, yeah. You know what? What? So we go over the table and he picks out the picture because uh, the one movie we did know was pirates. Uh, so uh, then we took those pictures with him and it was just awesome. You know, he loved it. And he just, I've always taught Anthony because he, like yourself, that's how you grew up. You grew up different than everybody else. You don't know oh. another life. It's, it's a lot different than another kid saying his age, same age down, right. getting an injury and being in a, in a, in a wheelchair. Right. Right. It's yeah. different from him. He doesn't know any different. He's, Correct. he's, he doesn't have that depression of, oh, well, I'm in a wheelchair. I can't do this. I can't do that. Wow. You know, I've seen him, I've seen him only cry once. Uh, and it, and it hurt me so much that we were at the uh, mall here in Aurora and there was a little kid chasing after a ball and it, it's like the silliest thing. And he said, I wish I could, you know, go, you know, be able to do that. And it, it absolutely killed me. I like, we, we had to leave the mall because I, I was, I was, Got, I was done. Uh, I was like, we got to go. We were eating lunch. We finished up our lunch and left. But that's like the one, only one time I've ever, he's ever felt bad about himself in his situation. Other than that, I would say that he is, that's, yeah. he's happy. Right. You know, I pimp out his chairs every time he gets a new chair. I would say this Anthony wouldn't want me 
or anybody else to treat him like he was in that chair. You know, he wants to talk to yeah, you. He's like in regular know. class. He's not in it. I, I forgot, I've forgotten to say hello to him when he's coming. He's like, James, why didn't you say hello to me? What's going on? Yep. You know what I mean? So <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know, I'm right here, dude. Normal person. And that's you know, exactly what he is. So I love that kid. And uh, any what we can do in this store to help him and put him out there in the mainframe and uh, get more awareness of all those causes we need to do. Uh, we, we everybody gets trapped, trapped in their own little world with this COVID and all this other shit. There's real uh, bigger problems out there people deal with every day, other than being getting a little sick. You know what I mean? So bigger world. That's all. That's all I have to say on that. What were you gonna say? I mean, I was gonna ask you if you guys have any Pirates of the Caribbean comic books. Uh, comics? I haven't seen anything. You know, Disney's weird about making comic books. They always I have sell. Them, but I- I, I right away I haven't even read them. I just I uh I showed Mackenzie like hey there's daddy there's daddy there's daddy but I was kind of remember you remember who made them was it who made those IDW you remember the publisher I don't know they're they, I bagged them and put them away. It's weird that they own Marvel. They never make anything Disney under that Marvel banner. They always subcontract it out to a small press. Disney's always kind of had a weird history of comic books themselves under the Disney title. I will look for you, Marty. If I find any, I will let you know. I will find some. Cool, right on, my friend. All right. Go Raiders. <laughs> oh, Go you're Broncos. killing me. You're killing me Go at the Raiders. end. <laughs> Go Broncos. Love you, brother. Thank you much. Okay, later, guys. Thank later, you. brother. Peace.